All right, hey guys, this video is not for the beach body coaches, but I'm putting this on my YouTube channel for anybody that might be searching, and the reason I'm doing this is because I searched on YouTube to try to figure out exactly what it was that was gonna happen and go on during the procedure that I'm gonna have um, in about six days. I have uh, what's called uh, keratoconus. It's a degenerative disease of the cornea. So I have it in both of my eyes. It's worse in my right eye, so they're gonna do this procedure in my right eye first and then uh, afterwards we'll do it in my left eye so um, just so you know a little bit about what keratoconus is it's um, the pupil is starts to degenerate and it's supposed to be a cone shaped and it starts to go into more of like a shape of a football so what's happening is the cornea is thinning and it begins to lose the ability to hold its shape in that um, that that shape of that round shape kind of like a basketball cut in half so, since it doesn't have that ability, it's starting to degenerate, it, it bulges out uh, like a football. And what it does is um, it distorts light. So, like for example, right now when I look at a light at night, for example, I see it, it, it projects down, it gets really blurry, but it projects down and I see like 16 of them and they, and they come down in like a, like a moon shape like this, it's kind of trippy. But it's because uh, the distortion that's happening as light comes into my eye. So it's pretty sensitive to light. Um, and I had, over the last three weeks, I had to go down to Salt Lake City to the Moran Eye Center to make sure that my eye was stable enough to do the procedure on. And, um, you know, they what they do when you go in to, to see uh, if you're a candidate to do this is uh, they dilate your eye, they take a topographic image of your eye to see the thickness of your cornea in, in all the different areas and they do a, a couple other tests and an eyesight you know a vision test and with keratoconus at least where I'm at right now my vision can't be corrected with um, with glasses or contacts so you know right now it's like it's been like a year of like <laughs> it gives me a headache because I can see good out of my my left eye pretty good but my right eye has slowly been getting worse and worse and, and that's how I found out about this keratoconus is I actually went to get LASIKs I was sick of having my right eye blurry all the time so I wanted to just get it done get it fixed and that's when they told me I had keratoconus I couldn't do LASIK or the PRK so that's where I got recommended to a doctor for uh, my keratoconus and the procedure that I'm going to be going through uh, so for those of you that are thinking about doing it in the future is called um, collagen cross-linking so collagen cross-linking so what it is is collagen what holds the shape of your eye and that's the part that, that begins to get weak. So what they do is they they uh, numb your eye, and you, during the procedure you're going to be awake. And so I'll, I'll talk about this after the procedure is done. But what's going to happen is they, um, for a set amount of time, they like drip riboflavin in your eye, and with a laser or whatever, it's uh, like I don't know how to best say it. It, it somewhat kind of burns that into your eye, and it what it does is it it um, strengthens the collagen the cross links between the collagen fibers to make your cornea stronger so it doesn't continue to degenerate so that's why they call it collagen cross linking so that's what I'm going to be doing next Wednesday um, I'm prepared for it I'm ready for it um, I've asked people and I've seen online it it depends on, on how long it takes for it to for your eye to, to be better afterwards I've seen people that can see you know, they, you still have to use corrective lenses and glasses, but I've seen people, you know, in a month have have it clear up, and I've had seen people it takes six months. So we'll see what what it takes for me. I'm going in with a positive mindset, super excited about it um, that I got chosen to do it. It's currently not approved by the FDA yet in the United States, but it's very successful in Canada and Europe. Um, the reason I got in is there's they're doing study groups, um, you know trials to get this um, this procedure approved with the FDA so I get to be part of a study group I guess is what you could say and it's down at the Moran Eye Center so next week I'm gonna go down I'm gonna have a hotel for like three days um, gonna have the procedure Wednesday morning at 7 o'clock and then I'm gonna spend the next day in a dark room hanging out taking my pain medication and then uh, heading back to Salt Lake City after that so that is uh, what what I'm going to be going, what I'm going to be going through, once again, the eye disease is called keratoconus, and also the procedure that I'm going through is called corneal uh, cross 
linking or collagen cross-linking. And I'll share more details after I go through the procedure and, and what went on with it. Um, the reason I want to share this video is because I was out looking for answers um, and I wish I would have known before because it's been a couple years now where my eye doctor told me that he couldn't correct my they would use, you know, they flip, is this one better, or this one better, is this one better, or this one better. And it just, I couldn't get it, they couldn't get it clear. And we basically left there saying, I don't know what's wrong. Uh, this is as close as we can get. And that's how I got my, uh, my, my prescription for my contacts. And it's clearly not very clear. <laughs> and it's continued to get a little bit blurry over the time. So if you're experiencing... A blurry eye, like your eyes are getting blurry, or your glasses or your contacts aren't holding up and, and helping you see like you should, I would seriously go see a good eye doctor and have a topograph taken of your eye to see if you um, have a thin cornea as well, if you have keratotonus. It's also uh, a, like I said, it's a degenerative eye disease, but it's also can be found um, in genes, so if you have it, you might want to check with your kids as well. And another thing that I learned is uh, if you're an eye rubber, uh, that that helps <laughs> keratotonus um, move forward faster. So it will help, it'll make your eye degenerate, your cornea degenerate quicker if you're an eye rubber. So if you, And it can also cause keratotonus. So if you rub your eyes, please don't rub your eyes. And uh, until next week, um, I'm going to leave you guys with this. Uh, one thing I'm super bummed at is uh, I can't take any supplements that have vitamin C in it. So I take Shakeology every day and I also take a pre-workout supplement called E&E &E, which has a lot of vitamin C as well. So for this whole week I'm going to be without supplements so bear with me on that aspect. But I'll, I'll be excited to be back and let you guys know how the procedure went next Wednesday. Once again, Keratotonus and it's uh, collagen cross-linking.